Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome to this brand new series on Tikinter GUI with Python. In these few videos, I'm going to be showing you how you can harness the power of Tikinter to create some fabulous GUIs, add widgets onto your screen, and honestly just create and manipulate a variety of different graphical user interfaces in Python. Let's get started. First thing first, guys, we need to go ahead and import Tikinter. Tikinter, again, is a very popular GUI module, and to import it, we're going to go ahead and say from Tikinter import star star and basically what that does guys is that it imports everything from Tikinter, all the modules and sub modules of Tikinter. also if you're wondering do we have to install it or not you do not every time you install python or download python from online Tikinter should come pre-installed all right once you've imported Tikinter, guys the next step is to actually initialize our gui okay we need to first create a window then we'll create the elements and then we'll add the elements onto the window. Three basic steps. So to initialize the window, we're going to go ahead and create basically what we call a root. A root is your base window. And we're going to say root is equal to capital T K. Okay. Root is equal to T K. And what this line does guys is it initializes a blank window. All right. If we just go ahead and add one more line root dot main loop. Okay. Main loop and run this. We're going to go ahead and see a very blank window that looks just like this. Okay. Very, very straightforward. Now I know what you're wondering, what does root.main loop do? Root.mainloop basically holds your view in place. Okay. It makes sure that the user can actually see it. And then if the user closes it, it goes away. If you don't add this line guys, and if you go ahead and run the code, then you can see nothing happens. The window opens. And as soon as it opens, it closes. Okay. So that's what we add root.main loop at the very end of any sort of Tikinter GUI so that that GUI stays in place and it is visible to the user for however long they want to look at it. So go ahead and run this once again. We have our view. It looks great, but there's nothing on it. So now that they've created the initial view and again, root is equal to TK. That was it. How do we actually create an element? Well, to create an element, there are basically several different de defined widgets into Kinter. You have labels, you have buttons, you have menus, check buttons, stuff like that. In today's video, we're going to be dealing with a single element and that is going to be a label. So let's go ahead and create a label guys. I'm going to call mine L, L is equal to label. And I'm going to say over here, L is equal to label. And then in brackets, I'm going to pass in two parameters. The first parameter that it asks for is, Hey, what window am I, is this being created on? And I'm going to go ahead and say it's been created. It's being added to the root window. Okay. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and add, what is the text? What should this label actually say? So the label has a parameter called text. I'm going to say text is equal to hello world. Just like any other application or programming language you learn, the first step is always hello world. So I say L is equal to label pass in root comma text is equal to hello world. And then after that, the second function I'm going to use is going to be L dot pack. Okay. L dot pack. Basically the, the way this function works is it actually adds and places this element, my L label onto my root window. So you can pass in different parameters in your pack. I'll cover those in a future video, but for now, just understand that L dot pack actually places your object on the Tikinter window. So again, we create the element over here. We add the element and then root dot main loop, make sure that our window stays in place. Go ahead and save this guys, run the code. And over here, we're going to go ahead and see Python. Hello world. Now this is awfully small. So I'm going to go ahead and cover one more function we can use to actually make our window a bigger size. And that's going to be the geometry of our window. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and say root dot geometry. And then basically what you can pass in over here is what is the dimensions of your window. And the way this works guys is in brackets or in quotation marks, you're going to go ahead and pass in your width by height or height by width. In this scenario, I'm just gonna make it 300 by 300. So you distinguish the Y and hit by the X sign. We have 300 by 300. Go ahead and save this, run it. And now if you take a look at our new window, we're going to see a much bigger and nicer window with our label. Hello world added on. Fantastic job guys. That was the initial introduction to Tikinter. There's so much more to this module. We'll cover buttons, functions, all that good stuff in future videos. Thanks so much for listening guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.